I was looking up uh, medical malpractice because I was curious. I was like, well, you know, doctors, adjusters, I hear adjusters say they get sued. Like, well, I've been sued, this, I've, or I've not sued necessarily. I've had to go to court several times for claims over the course of my career. I never that one time did. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout. And get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. Um, I don't know if it was just blind luck or a combination of blind luck and just having just just trying to be a better with better customer service. But then I was like kind of curious, like what other industry is there that where people are, could get like end up in court and one's medicine, right? So doctors sewing a person up with the forceps still inside of them or whatever it is, right? And I looked, at, I, I found some statistics that showed that um, adjust, uh, adjusters, doctors who had good bedside manner, who, the, and across all these doctors, this whole group, everybody made the same mistakes, right? There was, the mistake was, the, was the, um, the, the constant in the equation, right? Um, doctors who went in for five minutes, didn't make eye contact, just ran off a couple of facts and then got, made the nurse do everything else and then left the room, those guys got sued for malpractice. The other guys who came in, held hands, looked the person in the eye, spent 25 minutes with them instead, right, yeah. and asked some questions and, you know, listen, anything you, I, you, you know, you guys need from me, you know, just call, you know, they'll, they'll page me, whatever, da, 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 right? And they, they really have this great, that's why they call it bedside manner, right? Those guys never got sued. And they asked people who didn't sue because, the, and that doctor went on and sewed the forceps right up inside of somebody's abdomen, right, and had to do a surgery to get him out. Why didn't you sue this person for malpractice? Well, we, we liked him. Yeah. No, it's, it's, like, it's absolutely that was it. true. Yeah, it's absolutely true. And I always say, I can't really teach you customer service. You're going to have to come with that. I can teach you the technical abilities. I can teach you process those types of things. You're going to have to. You're going to have to have customer service. You're going, going to have to like to work with people in this industry. Yeah. You just are. The other part about that is I always think of perspective and perception. Your perception is, why are these people so bent out of shape over a gutter? When I just came from right. a total off fire over here, these people don't even have a home and you're bent out of shape over a gutter. But again, your, that is your perspective there. But if you step, or that is your perception rather, but if you step in the place of their perspective, it is, gosh, I wouldn't want to have a gutter. I wouldn't want to have an issue with my gutter. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to have to deal with an insurance claim. I wouldn't want the unease of, is my deductible going to be, you know, enough to cover that whatever it is, you know, you wouldn't want the unease of that. So perception versus perspective, all that's why we harp on empathy all the time. Put yourself in the shoes of other, feel what the other person is feeling. So put your perception aside and step into their perspective. And I promise you, you're going to go up. It's, it's going to be a lot better for you. But it, but sure enough, you're going to have to like to work with people. You're going to have to like to chat with people and talk with people. And that's just really, if, if, if you, I mean, for example, in our ABC course here at Alacrity, we do role playing where we'll say, you know, someone pretends they're the policyholder and then we've got managers and the adjuster comes out and we give them scenarios. And I used to very frequently pay, play the, the policyholder. And it was just so interesting because I would always, you know, one of the trickeries of it was we, were, we didn't cover the coverage B. The scenario wouldn't cover the coverage B. And I would say, hey, are you going to cover my coverage B? Uh, yes, we are. And that was the wrong answer. But they were so nice. The customer service was there. I was just like, I don't even care that that was wrong because I just really enjoy talking with you. So it's what, you know, we need to get it right. We need to make the right call. Our job, you know, we're a fiduciary. We have a, 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 you know, a duty to our client to pay what is owed. We have a duty to our policyholder to pay them what is owed. But I promise you, you're going to get go a long way with the customer. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.